good morning everybody um, I managed to somehow bump my nose but I bumped it up on the bridge part and it's hurting pretty good today um, I was putting my the Vaseline on and <clears throat> I just I don't know what I was doing I turned to look at something and my hand was coming at my face with the Vaseline and I had just bam so it's hurting anyways um, oh For that it'll fit in the shop and, we, and that's not a problem we'll just have to rearrange some things that are in there so we can get it in the center of the shop um, but we have a pile of rocks in her driveway in, in the shop driveway and um, so it's a little difficult to um, maneuver the RV around that lump of rocks it's a dump truck full so um, <clears throat> it's going to be uh, exposed to uh, the storms tonight and tomorrow. But according to 5 News weather, we shouldn't have too much of an impact other than maybe some rain and thunder. Um, it is very humid today. Very warm. Let me, uh, 70 degrees. Um, I know last night when I came home, it was like 78, 77 degrees. <clears throat> so, I got out there in the RV and I put my liners. Drawer liners down. Dang it, I left my tablet. Like, yeah, I left my tablet at home. Dang it. Um, anyways, um, so I um, got the drawer liners cut and put in, and <clears throat> probably not gonna find a silverware drainer or silverware. Drawer cubby until I get to um, one of the camping world sites or uh, an RV shop. <clears throat> and uh, Crabtree might have them, so I might have to go over there and look. But I'm not that concerned about it right now. Um, I will eventually replace that flatware because there's two sets in there right now. And the set that I really liked, <clears throat> I've got some missing pieces. And the, um, the uh, steak knives that we had, oh, we still have them, um, are like rusty stained and I washed them, scrubbed them, and they won't come clean, so I'm just going to use them until, um, I know they're clean, so um, I'm just going to use them until um, I find the set that I need, you know, and I'm, I have like eight of them, 
but I think that's what my service setting is for, is for eight um, of dishes. So I'm probably just going to use the... Uh, use them until I find another set and then maybe only get four steak knives. Yeah, whatever, when I bumped it this morning, it went up and up into this spot that I really, right above my eyebrow, kind of hurts. Um, two more weeks, I get this thing taken off, two more weeks. It's kind of a pain in the butt to have to wear this bandage on my face. But hopefully these non-stick bandages, I can uh, at least the moisture and the Vaseline won't come off or, or won't allow it to stick um, and help keep it a little bit moist. <clears throat> and I wish the medical tape that I have that doesn't pull my skin would... Um, I'm in a flesh color. But, anyways. Yeah, right above my eyebrow. It hurts. Right there. I don't know. have no feeling right here on my forehead. I can feel tapping and I can feel pressure but underneath everything I mean the skin is I do not feel myself rubbing my forehead right there. I feel skin moving everywhere else but there. Just a strange strange feeling and after talking to hubby about an incision area that he had done and daughter when she had her history not her hysterectomy her um, c-section and then her appendix um, surgery she has some spots that the feeling never came back so that'll just be one of those things that I guess I'll live with Temporarily in another office. Um, the boss lady needs to have <coughs> her own office. And so um, I moved out. I'm in an office, another office temporarily. Um, and so for however long that is, I will enjoy my. Um, Feng Shui and uh, my yin yang and polarity. Um, I always had um, my desk. <coughs> I had two desks in my first office um, the first eight years I worked for the state. Even the year that I worked at the Fayetteville office. Um, my desk faced west and when I worked the first eight years down here in Fort Smith I had um, windows which were great but I had two desks in that office and the desk that I conducted conversation with my probationers. That way I was facing north. And when I would work on my computer system, <clears throat> I faced west. And I had viewability of all the elements. 
desk. I had a metal desk. But I had some wood features in there. And I had water. And <coughs> wind. I had, I had wind chimes hanging from my ceiling. Um, and so I always had the, the, the effects of wind. So, and fire, um, I had candles, little tea light candles that I would turn on. And so, granted it was imitation fire, but it was the representation of fire. So I had all of the elements and so I hope that um, wherever I end up, I will be able to put those elements back in my workspace, whether it just be a desk or whatever. Um, I just want all my elements back. I just... I've missed that. So, um, <clears throat> see what's going on today. I'm gonna do. Um, I need to get on my business card order. Get that done. And then send an email or <coughs> for um, um, time sheets. So I need to get those keyed. So I will need those all collected today so I can get them keyed in. And, um, I think I'm cross training people today. I'm not sure. Or tomorrow, whatever I can. So, need to coordinate that, but the life of an admin is never dull, that's for sure. There's always something that needs to be done. <clears throat> I did manage to get, um, couple of drawers uh, cleaned out so I can at least have some facsimile of um, organization. Yesterday working after I moved into that other office um, was disorganized to chaos and I don't work well with that. have my piles and my stacks and things like that and I know where my piles and my stacks are but yesterday there was so much stuff I had stuff in this pile and that pile and this stack over here and just my whole groove has kind of been shuffled so I'm going to try to work on that a little bit more today and see if I can get it somewhat more accessible to me things I do on a daily basis, things I do on a weekly basis, and I just need to have those things, or need access to things that I may not use every day, but I need them readily available, so I need to get that organized, <coughs> so I can have access to that. don't like a desk of chaos. Oh, that hurts up there really bad. 
weeks I can wear sunglasses. Hoping two more weeks I can change my contacts easily. Five miles an hour coming into Fort Smith. That one too. Cheese Louise, people. If you're late to work, you should have um, gotten up earlier. Oh. Today and then tomorrow night, we are going tomorrow night. We're loading the RV and we're going camping. <clears throat> Gonna try a spot because we're having the grandsons with us um, on the weekend portion. And uh, so we're gonna be in a spot that um, we'll have quick and close access to the playground. And possibly, depending on um, how many people come to the area, we'll determine whether or not I let them go to playground by themselves because I can see it from where I'll be sitting um, and then our next trip is just the hubby and me and the dogs um, and uh, it's already, I already have that spot picked up <coughs> picked out <coughs> But, uh, just have to wait and see. Well, we may change our mind of where we go between now and then when we book the reservations. <coughs> the space we really liked to go, um, every other weekend or every at least once a month when we were RVing 10 years ago, um, is booked all the way through September. So, for the weekends. And so, um, when uh, one of these one of these weeks after August, when hubby gets vacation time back, um, we are going to probably go for a week someplace. Um, and we may try to go like as far as Branson I don't know, may go to Beaver Lake I don't know um, I enjoyed Branson and especially out on Lake Tanicomo oh man we had fish I think every night we were there and then um, Table Rock Lake is really really pretty and we stayed out at Indian Point and so, I don't know if we'll go up there. It just depends on what we're going for. Um, but, uh, like Teddy Como, Branson West, that's really nice because you're kind of away from all the hubbub of um, Silver Dollar City and all the main street attractions and rides and all that stuff. And basically, you know, our point of going to places like that is just to go and relax and get away from everything. So, um, <coughs> I know that, um, I know that, um, um, The 
there's some places close that we'd like to go. But anyways, um, with that being said, I'm here in the parking garage, obviously, because it's dark again. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. Y'all have a great Wednesday and bottoms up on your coffee cups. Bye for now.